Hey, so there was some big news that came out of Zillow yesterday that a couple of my friends asked me to comment on. So I'm like, you know what? I'll make a quick little video. So if you don't know, Zillow suspended their operations in their iBuying platform. Uh, what an iBuying platform is, essentially a company will come and make you a cash offer on your house, usually at, uh, you know, at a, at, a lower, at a lower price than you would get on the open market in exchange for the convenience of not having to list it, just getting cash out on the spot and not having to deal with uh, buyers coming in or anything like that. Well, uh, and then Zillow on, on the flip side or those other companies on the flip side would sell, put the house back on the market and sell it higher from what they bought it. That's an iBuying platform model. Uh, and Zillow stopped doing that. It just wasn't profitable for them. And one of the big reasons why is they one of their indicators of value of that property was their Zestimate. More on that in a minute. If I'm going to be give you full disclosure, I've never been a big fan of Zillow. Uh, my clients know that. Uh, they came in around 2006, and there really wasn't a need for Zillow. We had a great consumer-facing platform um, in Realtor.com. And in 2007, there is this great writer for Inman News. Her name is Bernice Ross, and she met with the owner of Zillow. His name is Rich Barton in 2007. And in that interview, there was a couple of things that he promised. And basically, one of the things was he said his business plan was to rely solely on advertising to fund uh, would be this main source of revenue. Obviously, that wasn't the case. What happened later on is that now he would they would take um, pay for information from the MLS or their other or the listings from realtors, and then they would they'll put that on the platform and they will sell the people interested in our own listings back to us, right? So they made money on grabbing our information and selling the leads of people in, interested in our in our listings back to us to or, or to whoever would pay the highest price. I, obviously, I, I wasn't a fan of that. Another thing that he said in that interview was that Zillow was not going to compete with brokers and instead they'll work hand in hand with us. And again, it kind of at that time, even then, even I was a little fishy because we didn't need a Zillow. We had a Realtor.com already. So what's your end goal here, right? Well, we found out that not to be, that wasn't true either. That would end up being a big fat lie because they now have Zillow Homes and they were competing directly with us. So that wasn't true. And then the other thing uh, was that their main source, uh, the main different differentiating factor from Realtor.com was their Zestimate. And I can't stand that Zestimate. You hear it all the time. But Zestimate, what Zillow says this, and there's so many things that go into evaluating a property that's impossible for a computer to, to provide. And they said that, um, that they had an inaccuracy rating back then at 7.2%, and it was just going to get better. And that's where the news from yesterday comes into play, Be, because a big... Uh, indicating factor of the homes that they were purchasing with their i buying platform were based on their Zestimate numbers, and there it ends up finding out that it was just wrong. <laughs> Those estimates were not accurate, and that is why they did not profit because these estimates, the information they they got information at other places, but the information that they got uh, in part due to the Zestimate was telling them that the property is worth one thing when it's really worth another, and that's why. Um, it wasn't a sustainable product and they had to let go of a bunch of workforce because of it. So my, I guess my reaction is, well, I never like to see anyone fail or not do well, but when it comes to Zillow, I'm not that upset at all. Um, also, when I see people buying real estate agents who buy leads from Zillow, it frustrates me because they are directly funding someone who is trying to take business away from the real estate agents. I'm all about, you know, uh, you know things getting better and progressing and technology and all that. But Zillow's a competitor, so I don't feel all that bad. And we don't need them. So anyways, so here's just proof positive that if Zestimates don't work for Zillow, Zestimates probably aren't going to work for you either. So I hope uh, this little brief video explaining my uh, feelings and my reaction to the news that happened yesterday was helpful. And uh, by any means, if you have any questions, you want to reach out, you can. Because, you know, I'm friendly.